Hey, it's Dave. So I was just thinking today about how crazy the over-the-air software updates will be for the Tesla Optimus humanoid robot in the future. Now, obviously Tesla has to execute super well, and we still need to see a rollout and a ramping of production for the Tesla Optimus humanoid robot. However, if we assume Tesla executes well, and that's far from a guaranteed conclusion, um, and if Tesla becomes the market leader in humanoid robots, then I think it's interesting to think about how the humanoid robot will be updated and what that means to the end consumer. So we have a taste of over-the-air software updates with Tesla's FSD software. Tesla pushes out new versions and the car drives much better than it could before. I've seen this personally with my car because I've been test driving FSD for quite a few years now and I've seen it radically improve. However, with a humanoid robot, it's not a narrow case robot and it's not just for driving or picking up things or moving things. No, it's a generalized all-purpose robot that is modeled after the human body and the degrees of freedom that the human body has. So as a result, the amount of things that this humanoid robot could potentially do could rival what a human could do. So for the over-the-air software updates, I think we're gonna see some crazy things happen in the future. For example, with the software update, the humanoid robot will be able to know how to do a crazy more amount of things than it did before. So if it knew how to cook you know, a thousand dishes, maybe it knows how to cook 5,000 or 10,000 and eventually 20,000 dishes. If it knew how to go to your backyard and do a little bit of farming, maybe it gets upgraded and it knows how to farm in a hundred more ways and do more things to, to make you money and to be more productive. And it's just, I think, almost unlimited in the number of ways of how its knowledge can grow with over-the-air updates. Now, if you compare this with LLMs or like ChatGPT, each version right, of the LLMs or ChatGPT, let's say from 3.5 to 4.0 and you know, eventually 5.0, um, it just gets so much better. And however, when you compare it to the Tesla humanoid robot, the robot's not just gonna add knowledge, it's gonna actually add physical skills. See, ChatGPT isn't able to physically go into your kitchen or go to your bathroom and fix a toilet or go to your backyard and pull the weeds for you, etc. You see, a humanoid robot though is gonna be able to do those type of tasks. So a software updates, it's not gonna be just adding knowledge, but it'll add new abilities to do physical skills. I think it's mind blowing to think about how many physical skills a new software update might add to the robot. Eventually, it'll be just countless right, physical skills that the robot could do. Another thing that over-the-air software updates will enable, it'll enable the robot to learn faster and better just from watching things. Or maybe you can even just describe something and right, it'll be able to learn a new task. Each software update will improve the robot's ability to learn and to learn new skills faster and better. And this is in stark contrast to non-physical real-world AI. See, if the AI is just on a server and you interact with it just through a phone or screen, the AI, the AI is kind of limited to that interface. The AI can give a lot of knowledge, but it can't transfer that knowledge into the real physical world for you because it doesn't have arms and legs to do it. So it can give you a recipe, but it can't cook the recipe. It could tell you how to fix an appliance, but it's not gonna go into your house and fix the appliance for you. And that's the gap that Tesla's humanoid robot potentially could fill. And it's a huge gap because there's so much added value in being able to be the hands and feet of AI in the physical real world. In many ways, I think, Tesla, if they're able to execute well on Tesla Optimus robot, they could ride the improvements of AI in a very profound way. Because Tesla's humanoid robot is a generalized robot in humanoid form, it's able to translate much of the improvements in artificial intelligence directly into not just knowledge, but practical, physical, real-world skills that could be useful and helpful for people. That's the value add of a humanoid robot. And it's something that an LLM or a non-physical you know, AI can't really give people. Of course, there's a big challenge. The big challenge is in order for an AI humanoid robot to get to a point where it could do enough useful things for humans in order to justify its cost, there's still a good amount of work that needs to be done. However, we're already seeing a skyrocketing of AI abilities and capabilities. We're seeing hardware improvements and software improvements coming together to speed up what AI is able to do. I think we're gonna see these improvements translated and seen in humanoid robot functions. But as with most tech products, the initial adoption could be slow because let's say the usefulness is just getting to the point where 
let's say it's worth the cost of the robot. So maybe the market size might be limited. But as the usefulness increases, in other words, as it's not just knowledge increasing, but the actual physical skills and abilities that the robot can do and can learn, as that grows, the value proposition is going to grow and that's going to increase the demand for the product. What would really skyrocket Tesla's Optimus sales, in my opinion, is if the price of the robot right, would stay similar over time, but because especially it's just hardware, right? But then the usefulness of the robot continues to skyrocket every year in step with AI improvements. In other words, it just gets exponentially more useful and it adds exponential more value to people. And I think that could really drive demand for the humanoid robot in ways that perhaps you've never seen in a product before. I think there's a lot of potential because the humanoid robot, again, it's a generalized robot form and it can display and take advantage of all of the improvements that AI is making overall. Anyways, hope this angle and this take has been helpful. We'll see you guys in my next video. Thanks.